name is Russell Hudson, owner and operator here at GM Instrument Cluster Repair. Today I'm here to walk you through the process of removing an instrument cluster from a 1999 to 2007 General Motors truck or SUV. If you'd like more information about our process, please feel free to visit our website at GMInstrumentCluster.com or you can call us direct at 801-607-5352. Now the cluster we're removing today has already been upgraded with one of our red LED kits as you can see. Um, the tools that are going to be required, most importantly you're going to need a 7mm socket, an extension, and a ratchet. You can also use a drill like we're using today. Now second step is you're going to want to, with your foot on the brake, you're going to want to pull the gear selector all the way into the number one position so that it's out of the way and you're going to want to tilt the steering wheel all the way down. That's going to make clearance to pull the bezel out. Now the next step is going to be pulling the bezel out. Now the bezel is connected. There's a series of push-in style clips that hold the bezel in. With a little bit of pressure, I usually like to start on, start on the top. A little bit of pressure, you can usually get those to go and work around it. And it's going to come loose just like so. Now to, to get it out of this small hole, you're going to pull on the top. It's going to pop that out and then just roll it right out of, right out of position. Now it looks like that one did turn our hazard switch on. We're just going to turn that, go ahead and turn that back off. Now from this point, there's going to be four screws that hold the cluster in. These are all 7 millimeter, and they're one on each corner, as you can hopefully see there. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull those screws out. This process can be done quite easily. Um, sometimes when these clusters have been in a while, some of the connectors, some of the screws may be a little stiff. Just give them a little extra pressure and they should pop out. Number three. And number four. And this is what the screws look like just so you know what you're up against. No, that one didn't come out all the way. There we go. Now, there's a connector on the back of the cluster. Sometimes that can be a little sticky. Sometimes it takes a little added pressure. Sometimes it takes a little wiggling. What I usually like to do is pull the cluster forward slightly and get a little bit of an angle so you can see back in the connector. Now, if you look in there real close, you should be able to see the connector we're gonna pull on. The release tab is gonna be on the top of that connector, right up here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pull on that release connector. You could heard it click, that was actually it releasing. Give it a good wiggle and pull, and there it come right out. And now, if you zoom in right close on that, you can see that's the release tab right there. That's what you need to pull up to make sure that releases. Sometimes that will stick and you need to give it a little bit more pressure. Sometimes even you can use a screwdriver if it's if it's really stuck in there. Now, now that we got the electrical out of the way, the cluster just needs a simple twist and it should pull right out just like so.